Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast Cooking. I'm bringing y'all in here on one of my big Sunday cooks. I'm cooking about 18 racks of ribs this morning. Um, I've got 15 here on my Yoder 640. I want to show y'all here. Um, this is some really, really good looking ribs. And they've been on for about an hour, actually about two hours now. I'm going to do a three, two, one with these guys. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to get them out and I'm going to rotate them and show you what I'm doing. I had to load up 15 racks this morning, so uh, they are uh, definitely looking nice here. I'm spraying them down. I've got some apple juice, uh, concentrated apple juice I put in here. One thing, a little can of it, and then I put some apple cider vinegar and also mixed in uh, some water. So this is a good little spritz for this. And what I'm going to do, y'all, is uh, We'll turn, flip all this stuff around, rotate. So let's take this out of here. Man, I don't need to drop none of this. Man, oh man, it's good on the ribs. So we got all this. Take this grate out here. Hopefully, y'all can see me doing all this. Not blocking the camera. I'm going to take this big guy here, show you a second, and we're going to rotate it. Alright, so let's go. Okay, so here we're uh, cooking this morning with uh, lumberjack cherry pellets. 100% cherry. Favorite for ribs, y'all. Can't beat it. Flip that around just like that, y'all. Let's get that sprayed very well. Right now, I so we're just infusing smoke flavor here. Add it when it counts. Ribs are looking nice, mighty fine. Let's add my grate back in. And this is important, but once an hour, if you're cooking like this, you have to use these, uh, these racks and stuff. Uh, we want to switch and flip. Now I'm going to just spray everything down and we'll be good to go for another hour and then I'm probably going to wrap it. Alright y'all, it's been three hours steady smoking with these cherry pellets. What I'm going to do now, we're going to take them out, bring them inside, I'm going to wrap them all in full, put some stuff in there and uh, what that's going to do, that's going to braise them and get them tender. Want to be. Let's take a look. Oh, they look gorgeous, y'all. Oh, yeah, they've got nice smoke to them. Beautiful sheen. I can take a picture of that, y'all. That's, that's beautiful. That's really, really nice. So, we'll go ahead and let them just uh, take them all out here, put them on the tray. We'll bring them inside, and I'll get right back to y'all. All right, y'all. So, here's my station here for wrapping the ribs. I got my full out brown sugar, parquet, a little bit of rub. I'm also going to bring out that spritz and spray. I'm going to show you. I'm going to wrap one for you here on camera, and then we'll do the rest here in a second. Okay, so here's what you want to do. You get your foil laid out like this, and you will take some uh, parquet first. Let's see. Let me get this to come out. A little bit of that down right there on the foil. That's the easiest way to do it, in my opinion. Then you're going to take a uh, little bit of brown sugar. Sprinkle that down. That just want a little bit of sweetness there. And I also will probably take a little bit of the rub that we've been using. Get this bag open. Alright, just put a little bit more rub down there. Give it a little more flavor. And then you want to spritz with your spray. You get a pretty little bit of that in there because this is the main thing we're just breaking. We're trying to get some moisture here to uh, tender up the ribs. So then we'll take a rack of ribs, y'all, and we'll just lay it down, bone side up, just like that. And we'll hit the back side with the spritz. So we'll make sure we get plenty of that spritz on there. And then we want to We'll fold all this stuff up. We'll seal them in there, y'all. There we go, just like that. Just like that. Now, 
We'll do this to each one of the racks of ribs, put them back on the smoker, let them get tender. All right, y'all, so we got the ribs wrapped in full, put them back here in the smoker, switched out the tops from the bottom, and uh, these ought to be great, y'all. So what we're looking for, we'll let these go, just basically cook in here for two hours, just braising those liquids. All right, y'all, these ribs have been on here for about two, two and a half hours wrapped up. I'm gonna take them off and put them here in this cooler, and what we're gonna start doing inside, I'm gonna start uh, basting them, wrapping them, basting them with sauce, and we'll put them back on here and let them uh, let them just get that sauce nice and cooked on them. But that's what we're gonna do, y'all. This is oh man, this look good. Look, I, you can feel them right there. They just almost want to break. That's about to the point where you want them. I don't want to fall off the bottom, but I. Really nice like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these off. And meet you back inside. So here's what we're gonna do here. I've um, got my tray here. I'm gonna get a rack of ribs just like that. I put them by myself too bad. Let me put these gloves on and unwrap this. And we're just gonna sauce them. Once they're sauced, I'm gonna walk them back out there at the grill. We'll set them on. Look at that. Oh wow. <laughs> I wish you could see that. Yeah, there you go. These things are super tender. See all the bones pulling back like that? That's what you want to see with that. They just want to just come apart just about. So that's good, that's good. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and lay a few racks out like this. And basically what we'll do is uh, when I'm sitting like this, I'll put a sauce on them that I make. I like to make me a nice little, little barbecue sauce here. And we'll just take that and just, uh, yes sir, put a little glaze of that sauce on them. And then these will go back on the grill for about 30 more minutes to uh, stiffen up just a little bit. These things will be perfect, y'all. Oh yeah. All right, y'all, this is it. Got it loaded down with the ribs. We'll let them go for about 20 or 30 minutes. And we'll give them to the people. Y'all, well, almost got all the ribs taken by the neighbors. They got four racks left. And I know you saw them, they were all sauced up. But what I did is I kind of started pulling them out and just wrapping them up. Wanted to do that just so it'd be easier. People come pick them up and everything. But man, you know, a lot of work. But <laughs> like I said, I really enjoy doing this. So uh, thank y'all. And um, hopefully uh, I'll get another video up maybe Wednesday. And I've got some new rub in, uh, or actually injections from butchers. I want to try some of that, uh, chicken injections, stuff like that. So thank you all a lot, and please like my videos, sub my channel. I really would appreciate it. Thank you all.